Hey guys and welcome back. This is a new type of video. I've been thinking about filming this for a while and I figured today I'd just go for it. This is going to be called my monthly love list. So if it's July, it's going to be July love list, August love list, etc, etc. It's kind of a bit like a favourites video, but instead of being about all of my favourite products and like beauty and fashion products of the month, instead it's about things that I've done, about things I've seen, experiences and things like that rather than just products. So you'll have a usual favourites video with beauty and fashion but you'll also have a love list so I'll be able to go through lots of different other things that I was also loving for this month. One thing is glaringly obvious, I have grey hair, you may have seen it in my Ibiza vlog but I had my hair dyed and I mean it's less grey now, it was much more grey when I was away on holiday but the sea got to it a little bit but I'm going to put loads of purple shampoo in it later, in fact right after this video I'm going to go and douse it in purple shampoo for about 20 minutes and just pull it back to white again but I really really like it just to get rid of the purple and try something new, I was purple for three years Three years I had coloured hair so this is quite exciting to be back to the platinum and the green I hope you like it I'm just going to get right into it just so this intro isn't ridiculously long. Okay, number one. My favourite thing to watch this month has been Orange is the New Black. Um, when I moved into this flat in January, we didn't have internet for two months. It was a nightmare. And because of that, I didn't get to watch any Netflix. And then I kind of fell out of love with watching Netflix. And then the past month or so, I've really got back into it. And Orange is the New Black is a thing that I needed to watch. So I've watched all of it now and I'm really excited for the next season. So if you've not seen Orange is the New Black, it's definitely one to watch. Next up is my favourite photograph of the past month and seeing as this is the very first time I've done a love list there was one photograph especially that I wanted to talk about and I'll put that right here. This is a photograph of me and Alex obviously as well as Julia from Style and Nylon, Erica from The Edited um, and then Leon and Carly as well and this is when we were in Greece and we had an awesome afternoon on this beautiful beach with beautiful um, like silver grey cobble stones all over the beach and it was a really kind of overcast day but it just added to this really beautiful mood and we just kind of hung out and we were playing underwater with underwater cameras and things and we got this shot and this is one of my favourite photographs played the last year, never mind the last month. If you want to see more of these photos as well, I've just done a full blog post on inthefro.com. My favourite person of the month. Now this could be anyone, I mean it could be a YouTuber, it could be an artist, it could be someone um, in your life that you absolutely love. I think my favourite person this month, bearing in mind I've just gone back from Ibiza with five amazing girls, I would say every single one of them because they're all incredible. But there's one girl who I absolutely love, we became really good friends recently, especially on the Greece trip and she's just really inspiring, one of the most sweet and warm hearted people I've ever met and I just absolutely adore her, we got on like House on Fight and that is Carly Rowena. If you don't already follow Carly Rowena you definitely definitely should, she's just a beautiful person inside and out and I'm just so so happy that we're sort of such good friends now. So I'll leave everyone's links down below by the way that I speak about but she's just, yeah I absolutely love her. Next up is my favourite clothing piece of the month and aside from this dungaree skirt that I'm wearing that I just love, the other thing I definitely would have to say is this dress and this is from a brand called Sailor and I got this from Revolve Clothing and I wore it recently in my Ibiza vlog and I just absolutely adore the colours, the colours and the sequins and there's something so sort of sexy but demure and mature about this dress. It's fairly short but I just think it's so gorgeous for on holiday. So this is definitely the thing I would say is my favourite piece to wear this month. Next up is the favourite way I have spent my time this month. Aside from being away and obviously being in Ibiza on a yacht, it doesn't get much better than that but otherwise things I've really been enjoying recently are going round to family and friends houses in London and chilling with a bottle of wine in the night, it's been beautiful weather and really warm and just sitting out and chatting and gossiping and gabbing about everything that's been going on and catching up and just, you know, just being with friends and just feeling so part of a group and yeah, I've really, really enjoyed that, it's been so nice to kind of relax, get away from the computer and the TV and everything else and just to kind of really de-stress, so I've really, really enjoyed that this month. My favourite thing to eat this month 
has got to be, I'd probably say, I've really been getting into Deliveroo, the Deliveroo app. I never used it before, but I heard loads of people talking about it, so I downloaded the app. And I love it, it's so easy, just going through, seeing what you want to eat, ordering it, it comes within like half an hour, well whenever I order it does. Um, it's super quick, so there is a sort of Vietnamese Thai place quite nearby called Tu Mai and they do an amazing chicken pad thai, so I've been pretty obsessed with that. My favourite drink this month has definitely got to be Frappuccinos. I'm not a coffee drinker and I'm really trying to get there. In fact, I, I taught Carla Rowena how to drink coffee because she too was like, do like coffee? And I was like, try a Frappuccino! And now she's obsessed. Um, but I, yeah, I really, really like them, especially I have an espresso machine. So I use that and I use like a caramel um, Nespresso pod with, fill it with milk and it's a perfect drink really. I can't really drink coffee like without the milk. The milk really helps to dilute but make it much more creamy and I find it's such a nice drink in the mornings before I start working or before I go to bark or, or just in the day it's like a little bit of a pick me up. So if you're someone that kind of wants a bit of caffeine to kind of pick you up but you don't like coffee, definitely try uh, Frappuccinos and also Costa do a beautiful one called, I think it's like the coffee, um, like a coffee cooler, creamy caramel coffee cooler or something like that and it's like a caramel frappuccino milkshake cooler and it's delicious, it's so good. My favourite event this month, seeing as this is the first one I'm doing, I'm going to kind of roll it back to July as well and I'll probably say one of the favourite things I did recently was I went to Paris with Victor and Rolf and we stayed in the Peninsula Hotel and we went to the Victor and Rolf party in the centre of Paris um, for their um, 10th anniversary and it was incredible it was amazing to be part of it and it was just a brilliant brilliant little trip away and it was really amazing actually so that would definitely be high on my list as well as the three weddings that I had around this time for my mum my best mate Rachel and my best mate Steph um, they were incredible also but if it was something outside of weddings then it would have to be Paris my favourite song of the moment, I have so many and if you follow me on Snapchat I often talk about my favourite songs or I'm listening to my favourite songs but I'd probably say my favourite song right now is the Selena Gomez song Good For You. It's just so kind of sexy and I don't know, something quite seductive and playful about that song. I really really love it and it's something that I would never have imagined Selena Gomez doing. I thought she was much more kind of poppy, but there's something kind of, I don't know, I really like the sound, it's got a really cool vibe, so I really, really love that song at the moment, definitely check it out. And the last thing is my favourite thing to use, so this could be like a gadget, or an app, or anything like that, and I'd probably say my favourite thing definitely this month has been Snapchat, so if you don't follow me already, I'm just Snapchat in the fro. I'm in the fro everywhere, so if you're ever wondering, is she on this, have a look for in the fro and I'll be on there, most probably. Um, but I've been loving it, like when I was in Ibiza, I was doing so many snaps and I was almost vlogging it, but via Snapchat. So I tr I'm trying to use it much more and I'm really getting into it, like I'm Snapchatting most days now for the past few weeks. So I love that, so definitely go over there and try that and hopefully you like my snaps. And that is the love list for August and a little bit of July, seeing as the first one. Let me know what you thought of the monthly love list. A little bit different from my favourites video and a little bit more personal. I know that a lot of you kind of like my more personal videos and I like watching more personal videos. And it's also a bit more fun talking about things that are a little bit more personal to me. So if you liked it, make sure you do give it a thumbs up right now and... I'll know definitely then to do it again or leave me a comment down below as well and let me know what you thought of it, if you enjoyed it, if you didn't, if you'd like something added or taken away, let me know. And if you're new to the channel it'd be awesome if you just click the subscribe button just below and I'll be in your subscription feed for next time you come along. And if that is the case then I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Mwah.